Hi guys, good to see you in November. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winner Value Commons. This episode is going to be my residential market update for all Seattle and all Eastside locations. In this episode, I'm going to provide for you guys a lot of data, a lot of stats, and I will tell you my opinion about market, what's happening on the market today. So stay tuned with me, buckle up, and let's begin. I will start with mortgage interest rate. Mortgage rates hovering around 7% right now. Mortgage rates increase because economy is doing really well. The labor market doing very well and consumer spending very high. It's a bad sign for feds. And for that reason, they are going to be keep mortgage rate higher to reduce consumer spending. And that's going to be reflect mortgage rate as well. And mortgage rates hovering around 7% for that reason. This slide represents months of supply of inventory in King County and Snohomish County. And you guys can see we have less than two months supply of inventory most everywhere except green cars we see right now in West Bellevue and South Seattle in Tequila locations. Those areas have between two and four months inventory and a lot of choices for buyers, which is probably a good sign. But in other locations, currently we are in a strong seller's market because we do not have enough inventory for buyers simply to buy. And that's pretty normal for this time of the year. We in November right now, Thanksgiving very soon in Christmas, and a lot of people not looking to list homes on the market and we don't have much choices for the buyers even we have a lot of buyers looking to buy properties right now and with that guys in different area is a different market we have different pockets in Seattle and east side locations i want to show you guys on the screen this property this property listed uh, by my colleagues from windermere office just last week and this property listed in south kirkland rose hill i speak with rick today and rick told me he did open house this weekend and he saw about 90 groups 90 families came to see this property on weekend. He lost count people who look for this home. And he has over 50 pre-inspection requests from different agents. Those agents who thinking to write that offer for this property with offer review days in couple of days. Property listed for $2,250,000. Today is November 18, 2024, and property listed in South Kirkland for $2.25 million have such high demand, 90 families came to see this property and open house. That shows like this pocket, it's really desirable right now to buy and a lot of people looking to buy property in Kirkland. In other locations, not as hot market as Kirkland. I show them properties for my clients in different locations in Maple Valley, in Renton last week. And uh, even I drove to Lake Tapps location. And there are some homes listed on the market. They stay on the market longer. They listed for less, less than $1 million. But in those locations, uh, buyers have more choices and buyers have more time to think if they should submit offer or not. Now let's dive in to Seattle neighborhoods and see in details what's happening in neighborhoods. I will show you guys on the screen right now. This data just for those neighborhoods. And currently we have medium close sell price in those neighborhoods, $972,000. An increase for 8% year over year. Also, we have 1.8 months supply of inventory in those neighborhoods. And months of supply of inventory, very similar to months of supply last year, 2023 and in 2022. Also in 2018, we have 1.9 months supply of inventory. But funny facts about Seattle, you guys can see with me on the screen, on the slide. 10 years ago in Seattle, price increased in October for 8% year over year as well. But medium close sell price that time 
10 years ago was $555,000 and within 10 years it's pretty much double to $972,000 in Seattle neighborhoods. 32% of homes in Seattle neighborhoods sold above asking price and those listing agents just nail it. They listed for correct price. 20% sold at asking price and 20% of people have to do price reduction before they was able to sell the property. People who negotiate price negotiate about 2% from the list price and people who paid above asking price pay about 5% above asking price in those neighborhoods. Now let's dive together to Seattle's east side neighborhoods and see what's happening in this market. In Seattle's east side, medium close sale price $1,550,000 in months of October. And you guys can see with me on the slide, uh, prices increase for 9% year over year. If you guys compare to the price from 10 years ago for sales east side was $667,000 and currently almost triple to $1,550,000 within 10 years. Currently we have 1.2 months supply of inventory, less comparable to last year and twice less comparable to two years ago. With less supply, high demand, we have situations like I showed you before, what's happening with the Kirkland listing in sales east side this week. 37% homes in sales east side sold above asking price, 13 sold at asking price, and 23% homes have to reduce price before they was able to sell the property. People who negotiate, negotiate for about 3% from the listing price. People who paid above asking price paid approximately 4% above list price. And this slide is very interesting data. When you compare all cities to data, what's happening there year ago and how many listings and active listings on the market right now. Pending sales increase for 29% in Seattle and 31% in sales east side comparable to last year. Over half percent homes sold at or above asking price. In King County, medium close sale price currently $900,000 and increase for about 9% year over year. Now, if you guys have any questions, reach out to me. I would love to be your real estate resource and answer any specific questions regarding your specific neighborhood. If you're looking to buy or sell, I would love to be your real estate advisor. I will try to help you to achieve your success in your real estate needs. With that, guys, have a happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, until next time.